Who is she? Yes, who is she? Someone who believes in herself. So let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kalia if you are new. And if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the family, okay? We're a family here and I want you in this family. Join me. <laughs> so today, as you know, is Saturday and that means that we have another Sat Chat video, okay? And today's Sat Chat video is all about why aren't you supporting yourself as much as you support your friends? Now I know everybody has friends that are super talented and they're doing everything. Like they're doing everything. Like it feels like they're actually doing everything. Every time you turn around, this friend is on some new endeavor. They're doing some new adventure. They're going somewhere new. They got a new job. They got a new house. They got a new car. They got a new phone. Or everything just seems to be working out perfectly swimmingly for them and you feel like I'll support them and then when it's time for you to do something you're scared to tell these friends about what you're doing because you have this weird thing in your head where it's like everything's working for them and it can't work for me too because you know that just wouldn't make sense and I just want to know why do you feel like that wouldn't make sense it 100% makes sense for it to work for you because it works for them let me explain so I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of self-help books out there now that always talk about when you surround yourself with successful people, you yourself will be successful. So if you have successful friends, why do you feel like you won't be one of your successful friends? Like you have to look at yourself like, yes, I myself am also a successful friend. There's no reason for you to count yourself out. There's no reason for you to lessen what it is that you're doing because you feel like since it's working for them, it won't work for me. Now for me myself, this is something that I struggle with a lot because I have a lot of friends that are out here, when I say flourishing, they are flourishing, okay? It, it, like life, their love life, their financial life, their work life, everything is just, It's, it's insane, it's insane. <laughs> but I've had to pull myself back from the uh, self-deprecating, depreciating, deprecating, self, whatever this word is that I'm trying to say and I will put it here once I figure out what it is. Thank you, future me. I had to pull myself off that train, okay? Because it was doing me no good. It was to a point where I was actually hiding my ideas and I was hiding all of these things that I wanted to do. So when it came time for me to do it and I did it and nobody really supported it, you know, I was a little upset. I got, I got mad. I'm like, okay, you know, why isn't anybody here for me the way I'm here for them? And I realized it was because I didn't say anything. That there's so many things that I like to do or that I'm interested in or that I want to do. And at the start of this year, you know, I started not necessarily rambling off each and everything that I wanted to do because you gotta keep some of those ideas for yourself, okay? You gotta. You gotta bring that in. You gotta put some stuff on hold where you work on it and then just bring it out when it's time to bring it out. But there were things that I told some of my friends and they were, I never knew that you knew how to do that. I never knew that you wanted to do that. And in my head, I was like, that makes no sense. What do you mean? I've always wanted to do this. And then I realized I never, I never told you. Like I never told you that this was something that I was interested in. And I never told you that this was something that I wanted to happen. So once I got to that point, I was like, you know, this year is the year that I will stop. I'll, I'll stop doubting myself and I'll stop putting myself in a box that is determined by what I've done previously. Yes, I've done things previously, but that should be all the more reason for me to believe in myself for the future. You see, it's like if I've done this little thing, I got to keep getting bigger because I'll never get to the biggest thing that I want to do if I keep doing like little I don't know what that means but it means something to somebody if it means something to you you let me know because I I need to be here so this is my challenge for you I want you to write down a list of things that you've wanted to do this year okay and then pick some friends and tell those friends what you wanted to do see how many of your friends say I had no idea you wanted to do that I had no idea that this was in your goals, this was in your list of things to do. And make it a habit 
to keep talking about those things. Keep working on those things because you're passionate about it and you know you're passionate about it, but the people around you don't know you're passionate about it. So how can they support you? How can they help you further yourself into what it is that you want to do? There's no way. So I want you to go out there and do it, okay? Let's, let's go be great and let's go be great together. I like that, together. Also, don't support someone more than you support yourself. Not saying that you should be selfish and just never participate in what it is that your friends are doing or never, you know, move forward with them. But there's no reason that you should feel like you're going into yourself when you're supporting and helping your other friends. Don't, mm -mm. Mm -mm. you're not allowed. If you're in this family, you're not allowed, okay? Because I'm not allowed, so you're not allowed because it's family and we hold each other accountable. So get it together, get it together, okay? We're starting today, we're starting now. Today we're getting it together, this is the day. This is the day. This is the day that we get it together, all right? Just, usually music helps people get things through their head a little faster. You're getting it together today, all right? Good, I'm glad, I'm so glad we worked through that. I'm so glad we're here. So glad we pushed past this. And uh, I love you for it. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I hope that this video helped you in some way. And if it did, let me know by leaving a comment down below. And if you really liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. If you think you liked it, hit it, hit it. If you liked this video, hit it, hit it. I promise that one day these random songs will make sense. Today might not be that day for you, but it made sense to me. And you know, we're working through it. That's what matters. I hope to see you guys in my next video. And remember, starting next month, we have a new upload day. And I hope you're ready as much as I'm ready. Cause I'm ready, I'm really, really ready. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Wow, I double chinned it out, didn't I? Bye. <laughs>